Now that we know why we're building this type of printer, we can get right to it. What are we going to need to build this printer? I've designed this printer so that it can be built with easy to find components and there's no need to import expensive parts. If something goes wrong, we can easily replace it. For the printed parts, if you don't have access to a 3D printer, try searching for 3D printing services nearby for getting the printed parts done. These printed parts make up a total of about 1500 grams that can be printed in PLA and can be found in the file section. We're going to need three motor mounts. three top mounts three end stop holders one electronic box one electronic box lid one LCD display mount one spool holder Three belt clips. Three carriages. Three carriage attachments. One flying extruder triangle. One extruder mount. One extruder. One effector. One fan mount, and two heat bed mounts. One power supply bracket. Recommended printed settings for this pieces are layer height between 0.2 to 0.4 millimeters, around 60% of your nozzle size. Parameters. Uh, about three and top bottom saw layers also three and infill density between 60 percent for the frame we're gonna need nine segments of 40 centimeters and three segments of one meter of 20 by 20 aluminum extrusions we're also gonna need one 30 by 30 three millimeter thick glass plate for the fasteners we're gonna need this measure of bolts M3 25 mm bolts, M3 20 mm bolts, M3 10 mm bolts, M3 5 mm bolts, M4 10 mm bolts, 50 M3 nuts, 40 M5 bolts, 25 M4 nuts, and 50 washers. As for linear motion, we're gonna need 4 NEMA 17 motors. Three segments of two uncut meters of GT2 belt pulleys, nine plastic wheels, two GT2 timing pulleys, three GT2 idler timing pulleys. For the diagonal push rods, we're going to need six 35 centimeter long glass fiber rods. For the Bowden extruder hot end, we're going to need one meter of elastic cloth one hopped gear, 
One fast pneumatic fitting for PTFE tube. One PC4 pneumatic fitting for PTFE tube. 20 cm of 2 mm PTFE Bowden tube. One B6 heatsink. One heater block. One M6 to M7 heat break with PTFE tube lining for printing PLA. One 0.6 mm copper of steel wire. One 40 watt or 30 watt 12 ball heater cartridge. Two 100K thermistors. Three 40 mm 12 volts cooling fans. And one 607 set bearing. For the end stops, we're gonna need three mechanical end stops. For the electronics, we're going to need 10 meters of 0.16 all purpose electronics cable, 2 meters of 3 by 1.5 cable, 1 LSD full graphics display, 1 RAMPS 1.4 board, 1 Arduino Mega 2560 board, 4 Pololu i4988 stepper drivers. 1 solid state external MOSFET, 4 heat bed, 1 12 ball 20 amp switching power supply, 1 AC plug, 1 30 by 30 12 volt PCB heat bed, 1 SD card, and 1 USB extension cord. For the tools, we're gonna need 1 electric soldering iron, 1 M3 Allen key. One pair of pliers, one adjustable wrench, one medium Phillips screwdriver, one small flat screwdriver, one pack of medium sized zip ties, one clear contact paper roll, one 5mm captain tape, three meters of channel cable or cable concealer, one clear duct tape, one solder wire, one PLA 1.75 mm filament spool. Note that all these items can be found in e-commerce websites.